All right, friends, in this video, I am going to walk you through my Naturally Thin for Life process, and I'm going to teach you how you can start applying that and thinking about that for you. And then after I walk you through that process, I'm going to share with you how I can help you specifically inside of the Naturally Thin for Life program that I have created for women just like you who want to lose the weight and be done. So first, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to become naturally thin for the rest of your life. And first, I want to come back to just for a minute why we have the struggle in the first place. <laughs> so if you remember, if you watched the video before this, right, we all have an over desire for food. When you think about how much desire we have for food, it doesn't match our ideal body weight. That's why the struggle exists. So if you remember the desire vase, what we want is we want a vase your body weight filled all the way up to the top with water. The water is your desire for food and you want them to match. You want them to be equal so that it's still filled all the way up to the top with water. So you don't feel deprived. You don't feel restricted, but you're not constantly battling this over desire for food when you aren't hungry or the desire to eat past being satisfied or the desire to eat food that just doesn't feel good in your body. So I can drew you, this is about the extent of my artwork. I drew you a little picture, right? When you imagine what we do is you have this desire that matches your current body weight. And what we want to do is actually reduce the desire first and all along the way, because then as you're losing weight, you're also losing the desire. So when you get to your goal weight, when you get to the weight you want to be at, where your desire matches your ideal body weight, you're no longer struggling. You're not battling. That's how you get to the place where you truly are just done. And so this over desire comes from a lot of places, but the biggest place that it comes from is a disconnect between your brain and your body. Your body in and of itself, it doesn't want to eat when you're not hungry. It doesn't want to eat past the point of being satisfied. It doesn't want to eat the food that causes you to feel bloated and constipated and kind of just like heavy and drained, right? Your body in and of itself doesn't want to do any of those things only your brain does. And so your desire for food is created in your brain and you want a desire for food, right? We, of course, we all want to be eating and we need to be eating and it keeps us alive, but you just don't want that over desire for food. And one of the ways that we create that over desire is by using food as a source of comfort. But we all still intellectually know that food actually isn't that comforting. It really all it is is a distraction, right? When you think about food in, of, in and of itself and the comfort we get, the quote unquote comfort is just a distraction from something we're experiencing, right? The comfort doesn't last. It's why when we overeat, we feel uncomfortable afterwards, right? That's our body trying to tell our brain like that's too much. It doesn't feel right. That food doesn't sit well for me. Right. So the comfort, the perceived comfort that we think we get from food, it doesn't go beyond the moment of eating. And so that comfort that we think we get is really just a distraction. It's a distraction from an emotion, whether it's restlessness or stress or anxiety or boredom or um, feeling excited or <laughs> feeling nervous, right? Any emotion that we feel uncomfortable with, we think the food provides that comfort, but it's not really comfort it's providing, it's just providing a momentary distraction. And so when we have all of that, what happens is when we have that disconnect between our brain and our body, where they're not experiencing the pleasure of food together, and we have that over desire for food, and we're using food to comfort ourselves, to distract ourselves from different emotions, is we create this struggle. It becomes really hard to lose weight and to keep it off. And then when you kind of add on top of that, any fear around hunger and fear around hunger is can be on a scale, anything from like a panic and an urgent feeling when you get hungry to a, like a permissiveness or a um, feeling justified, kind of like a kid feeling like, ooh, a naughty little kid, like I'm getting away with something when I'm eating. Anything other than a calm relationship with hunger, all of this fuels that over desire for food. And when you think about that desire to distract yourself with food from an emotion and the comfort you think, I want you to ask yourself this question. How often do you want to overeat when you feel genuinely calm? I'm not talking bored. 
and just talking calm or when you feel focused at work, right? You're really into your work and you're feeling productive. There's certain emotions that we don't even think about food <laughs> when we're in them, when we're feeling calm, when we're feeling relaxed, when we're feeling productive, when we're feeling focused, right? Because we like those emotions. We don't need a distraction from them. That's how we know it truly is a distraction from different emotions and that the food in and of itself doesn't provide any long-term comfort. It just provides a distraction in that moment. So these, this is kind of highlights all of the things that we talked about a little bit in the video before this that create the struggle in the first place, that create that overarching over desire for food. And so now I'm going to talk you through, okay, if that's why I'm struggling, how do I get to the place where I'm finally done? Right? You don't just want to lose the weight, you want to lose the weight and you want to be done. Right? No one wants to lose the weight and then keep focusing all of this mental energy and obsession on losing the keep losing the weight. Right? That's when I talk about the desire vase. I, I tell you in that other video that when you imagine, right, we have a vase filled all the way up to the top with water and it's our body weight and the water in the vase is our desire for food. And then what most of us do is we don't reduce the desire, we don't reduce the water, but we want a smaller vase. So we start to pour the water from the bigger vase, your current body weight, into the smaller vase and it overflows. <laughs> and so that looks like either putting the weight back on or like the neurotic, frantic, crazy obsession to like clean up the water and clean up the water and clean up the water. And we're always trying to clean up the water. That's the like crazy, frantic, calorie counting, weighing your food, obsessively exercising, tracking every single thing you do on your, on your Apple watch, right? I've done all of it. <laughs> either putting the weight back on or being obsessed the rest of your life is not where any of us wants to be, right? We just want to be done. <laughs> we just want to be able to move on and take that mental energy and spend it on things that we actually love in our life. So how you get to the place where you're finally done is you come back to what I call a pleasure match, which means your brain and your body, they want to experience the pleasure of food together. They were designed that way. We just have to teach you how to come back to that, to have that be your innate way of being. The body doesn't want to overeat. And so all we need to do is teach your brain how to also not want to overeat. And how we do that is again, we reduce this over desire for food as you're moving towards the desire for food that you want to match your ideal body weight so that you're not bringing this over desire with you as you lose weight. You lose your over desire as you lose weight in this process that I've designed. And so this desire for food, right? You want it to equal your body weight. That is the pleasure match. You wanna of course enjoy food. You wanna have the desire for food. You just don't want that over desire for food. And how we do that is I, you develop a really calm relationship with hunger. I love feeling calm with hunger, no matter how hungry I am, right? It doesn't mean you want to be feeling hungry all of the time, right? You want to be hungry and then you also want to enjoy satisfying that hunger. But what you want is a calm relationship with hunger. Because like I said before, when you're truly genuinely calm, who thinks about overeating? Who has that urgency, that panic, that franticness that leads to overeating? We don't have it when we're feeling genuinely calm. So you want to have a calm relationship with hunger and you want desire for food that actually serves you. Food that serves you is food that feels good in your body, both while you're eating and after you're eating. Food that serves you helps you lose weight. Food that serves you is food that you actually enjoy. It's not steamed broccoli and um, like steamed chicken breasts, like blah, gross, <laughs> like tried all of that. No one wants that. So you want to be eating food that serves you, food that serves you in losing weight, but food that you also enjoy so that you enjoy when you're hungry, but you also enjoy satisfying that hunger. And then the other way we create reducing your over desire for food is by teaching your brain how to experience the immediate gratification of feeling really good in your body right now. When you're dieting, what we think, what we kind of teach our brain is that we have two options. You can either eat the food in front of you when you imagine you're not hungry or you are satisfied, but your brain's like, we want more, we want more, we want more, right? When you think about overeating, when we're dieting, we tell ourselves, well, I can either white knuckle my way through this and feel really restricted and really deprived, or I can give in. 
And so I either get the immediate gratification of the food right now, or I get the delayed gratification of the scale going down or losing weight at some point in the future. But what you miss when those are your only two options is you miss that you get the immediate gratification of feeling really good in your body right now because you're not overeating. And when you teach your brain, oh, I get to feel good all of the time, that desire to feel uncomfortable with overeating, it naturally starts to reduce. This is one of the most important things that naturally thin women that have never struggled, it's why they can't quite articulate what they do is because they're like, they just don't have the desire to feel uncomfortable. And so that truly is your body's genuine desire is to feel comfortable all of the time. And so what we do is we just teach your brain to listen to that desire. Because when you love feeling comfortable, the desire to overeat, it just, it just becomes not, not worth it to you. I actually have a client named Amy and she's a physician's assistant and they, during COVID, are bringing in a lot of food. I think she said they bring in lunch for them every day. And she said, you know, the other day they brought in these Chick-fil-A chocolate chip cookies. She's like, they're my favorite. <laughs> She's like, they're the best ever. Never, ever would I turn one down, ever, no matter what. And she said, you know, I didn't even realize it until after the fact. But she said, I saw them and I didn't even want one. She was like, that was one of the biggest moments for me because she's like, I wasn't battling myself. I just genuinely didn't want one. And so when I asked her why, what she said is, it just the energy drain that I feel afterwards. She's like, I know then I just want more and more and more sugar later. And she said, I don't feel as good in my body. There's a little bit of discomfort for me. And I just feel a little bit sluggish. She's like the momentary taste of eating that cookie. It just wasn't worth not feeling good in my body. That's the power of the immediate gratification because then, like I said, you're just done. You're not battling yourself every time you see the cookies trying to be like, oh, I can't see them. I got to like go away, right? It's just not something that's on your mind. It doesn't take up the mental energy, the mental space. And then the other ways that we reduce your over desire for food is to allow emotion without white knuckling your way through. For anything like me, I used to be like, mm, don't have time for that emotion stuff. Like that's just a no, right? But when you think about why you overeat, if you're always overeating because you're trying to distract yourself from an emotion, again, it can be anything. It can be a, a quote unquote positive emotion or a quote unquote negative emotion like stress or overwhelm or pressure or restlessness or boredom right? Any of those, when you learn to allow the emotion and give yourself the comfort without the food and not white knuckling your way through, that your brain's desire to distract you from that emotion with food naturally goes away. And then the other two ways that you do this is you understand, kind of in everything I just described, what you're doing is you're understanding and you're changing at the source, which is your brain. We already know your body in and of itself, it doesn't want to overeat, only your brain does. And when we change at the root cause, at the source, which is your brain, that's when the battle stops because your brain and body, they want to experience the pleasure of food together. They don't want, your body doesn't want to be battling your brain and your brain doesn't want to be battling your body, they want to work together. And so when you change at the source with what's happening in your brain, then there's no longer a battle. And then you always know how your body in particular loses weight, why you are losing weight, why you're not losing weight, and you won't know exactly what to do about it. You have a very calm sense of control with your weight. And you're not worried about putting more weight on. You're not worried about losing the weight and then gaining, and then how do I lose it again? Like you just know exactly how your body loses weight and you know how it keeps it off without the battle. So this is how you get to the place where you are finally done, where you have that pleasure match and your brain and your body, they want to experience the pleasure of food together. And you have your desire vase where your desire for food matches your ideal body weight. So when all of that happens, here's what happens in your life. Here's the result that creates for you is you develop a lifelong skill. Because when I think about right, what I eat today is different than what I ate two years from two years prior. It'll probably be different than what I eat two years in the future, right? But when you have the skill of easily allowing your hunger and satisfying your hunger, 
what you eat, the specific food, it doesn't matter nearly as much as we think when we're dieting. You just develop a lifelong skill of being naturally thin. And when you're naturally thin and there's no battle, you don't feel deprived. You don't feel restricted. You get to enjoy being in your own body. You finally feel like you're in the body you're meant to be in. And with that comes so much confidence just being in your own body and enjoying being in your own body. And you get to trust yourself. You get to trust your own brain. You get to trust your own body. You're not looking to a diet to tell you what to eat. You're listening to your own body to tell you what to eat. Your body will give you the most immediate rapid response when you listen to it about what food serves you and your body. And you also get to trust yourself, like I mentioned my client Amy, whether or not you're at work and they bring lunch in with your quote unquote favorite chocolate chip cookie, or whether or not you're at a restaurant and you don't meal plan ahead of time, right? You don't need to kind of quote unquote, look at the menu. I used to like look at the menu and like put the calories in my fitness pal and like really have to be prepared before I would go to a restaurant. Not super enjoyable. Right? You don't have to do that because you trust yourself. You can go on a vacation. You can be at home during COVID and not be worried about putting weight on because you truly trust your own brain and your own body. And you've listened in a way that you only want to eat the food that serves you. You get to enjoy putting clothes on. Sometimes I think we like, right, there's all of this amazing change in our life, but the little things that we don't enjoy because we feel like we're in the body we're not meant to be in, they stack up over time. So you get to wake up with energy, enjoy putting your clothes on. You get to enjoy your own reflection in the mirror and carry that confidence and that trust with yourself into all areas of your life, not just with your weight loss journey. And kind of the overarching one thing that happens is there's no longer a battle, which means there's no longer a need for the obsession, the restriction, the counting, all of the strict diets. There's no longer a need for any of that. And you experience the freedom that comes on the other side of that, the freedom from the mental energy you've been spending, thinking about what diet to do next, what am I going to do, how am I going to lose the weight, worried about the weight coming back on and how you look and like doubting yourself, all of that, None, no, no more, right? You get the freedom of all of that mental energy and mental space that gets to be freed up that you get to spend that mental energy then on doing things that you actually really enjoy that fuel you and don't drain you, whether that's making more money in your job, going after the next promotion, taking on a new project, spending more time with your family or your husband or sleeping more <laughs> or stopping doing some crazy exercise program that you hate. I used to do this P90, um, not P90X, a beach body insanity. It was called insanity program. I hated it, <laughs> right? But when I had the freedom of not this like crazy obsession, right? Now I just get to move my body in a way that I enjoy, right? You're not in that... Um, kind of anxiety ridden obsession all of the time. You just get the calm freedom that comes when you have developed all of this. So now that I've walked you through really why you struggle, how to get to the place where you're finally done and what happens when you do and what's available to you on the other side of that, I'm going to walk you through now my Naturally Thin for Life program that I've designed to help you do just this. Because I want you to experience this freedom. I don't want another day to go by for you where you're struggling with this. Each day that goes by is another day that you're probably adding to your desire base. You're definitely not reducing it. So I want you to get to the place where you start reducing that over desire right now today. So I'm going to walk you through the specifics of the program, how you can join, everything that's included, how I'm going to help you get to the place where you truly are naturally thin for the rest of your life. And there's also a special thing we're doing inside of the program, a special deep dive we're doing in the month of March. So that's March, 2021. So I wanna make sure to walk you through that as well so that you can start being naturally thin today. So here's exactly how it works inside of the program. 
So I teach you a five step process. I'm gonna walk you through the process and then share with you what else happens inside of the program. So the first step is a you, I really teach you how to make decisions around food, which means when, what, and how much to eat for your specific body. So that you're making those decisions around when, what, and how much to eat in a sustainable way, in a way that allows you to lose weight, in a way that allows you to reduce that over desire for food. And then the second thing we do is I teach you how to follow through without, <laughs> you should like triple underline the without, without more willpower. You do not need more willpower. I'm going to teach you how to do this in a way that you get to experience that immediate gratification of feeling really good in your body. I'm going to give you all of the tools so that you're not relying on willpower and self-control, which we all know at the end of the day disappears, <laughs> right? And so then I'm also going to teach you, and part of the ways I teach you this is what to do when you don't want to follow through on the decisions around when, what, and how, how much to eat that serve you and your body, right? Especially in the beginning, there's going to be times that you are sitting there and you're having dinner and you're thinking about a second serving, or they brought in lunch and there's food that you know you're going to feel really not great after you eat it, right? You're going to have those times and your brain's going to be like, well, but I just want it, but I just want it. I'm going to teach you what to do in those moments as well, right? They are going to happen, but I'm going to walk you through very specifically what to do so that your two options are not white knuckle my way through and try to rely on willpower and self-control or give in. I'm going to teach you a third option. And that third option is how to allow that emotion that creates the desire to overeat, that creates the desire to eat when you're not hungry in a way that there is no battle. So that you're not relying on the willpower, you're not relying on the self-control, and then you're not eating and having the regret and the guilt afterwards. And so when you remember why we want to overeat, it's not our body, it's our brain, and our brain wants a distraction, right? That comfort of food, it doesn't last, it's only temporary, and it's only temporary because it's a temporary distraction. This, when you don't wanna follow through on eating in a way that serves you, and you allow your emotion, you teach your brain, you don't need the food. You have a much calmer relationship with food, with your hunger, and you don't have this energy drain by the evening where your brain is just like, forget it. <laughs> I'm just going to eat all the snacks. I don't care anymore. Right. And so when we teach you the decisions around when, what, and how much to eat for your body, how to follow through without more willpower, and then what to do when you don't want to follow through. The other two things I teach you is how to evaluate your progress so that you always know exactly why you're losing weight, exactly why you're not and what to do about it without any brain drama. One of the things how we do this is I teach you how to know always your body, how it loses weight in a specific way so that you can repeat it. It's, I think about it a little bit like, you know, when you start a job and there's like a process document, it's like you do this, you do this, you do this, right? There's no drama. There's no subjectivity to it. You're like, oh, this is just what I do to get this result. It's the same. I'm going to teach you how to do this without getting on the scale and freaking out and without getting on the scale and having it either make or break your day, right? I'm going to teach you how to evaluate your progress in a very calm, objective way. The last step is I teach you how to coach yourself, which really means understanding your brain specifically so that when you make a change, you're making a change at the source. So when you coach yourself and you understand what's happening in your mind, you will understand anything that makes it difficult for you to eat in a way that serves you, anything that makes it difficult for you to lose weight. And I teach you then how to change it at the source. This is why you don't need more willpower. This is why you don't need the next life hack or habit, right? That you're trying to like mm, <laughs> grit and grind <laughs> into your life. Because when you are understanding, oh, this is exactly the thought that I'm having in my mind and this is the exact emotion and that's why I wanted to overeat. When you have that awareness and then I teach you how to change it, you don't need the willpower. You don't need more self-control. So this is the five-step process I teach you how to lose the weight for the last time, how to lose that over-desire for food. This is the process I teach you inside of the program. 
And so here's everything else that you get when you join, when you join the Naturally Thin for Life program. You get this five-step process and you get it on demand. So you can go at your own pace. For some people, it takes them about 30 days to get through the five steps. Some people binge watch in, in a week, right? So it's, it's self-paced. But the other reason it's on demand is sometimes there's, there's pieces that you want to go back to that maybe you do some work on and in a couple of weeks, you're like, oh, I feel really good about this. But then you notice, oh, like now my relationship with hunger, I don't have that fear, that panic, but now I, I still don't quite feel calm yet. So then you can go back to those videos and you can be like, oh, with where I am now and everything I've learned, now I know what I'm going to change from here. So it's on demand. So you always have access to that five step process. And then you also get automatic access to any new content. So there's times where I may say, oh, here's something I really see you struggling with. Let me create new content for you. Let me create a new video for you. You automatically get access to that. And you also get weekly support. So not only do you have on-demand access to the five-step process, but you can also come to live weekly calls and get any questions that you have answered and any support that you need so that you continually make progress. So that if you're stuck on something, I will help you work through that. I will show you, I will teach you why you're stuck and how to work through that so that you're able to work. We can work through that real time, but also you get to come and see that there's other women with a very similar goal to be naturally thin for the rest of their life, with very similar type brains struggling in a similar way. So you get to see, like a lot of times we think we have this judgment about ourselves that there's something wrong with us and we're alone and we're the only ones that struggle with this. You get to see other women not only struggling, but working through those struggles in a way that you then get to apply in your life. And sometimes, actually very frequently, when we're watching someone else be coached and ask their questions and work through something, we see something in their struggle that we often don't realize oh, that's showing up for me too. So watching other people and being surrounded by other women with the same goal, you get to see their roadblocks and use the progress that they've made to actually make quicker progress because sometimes you see roadblocks that you didn't even realize you had. <laughs> you just get to witness them in watching other women. And then the fourth thing that you get inside of the program is each month we do a deep dive. And so in the month of March, that's March 2021, we are going to be spending more time on these live weekly calls, understanding why your career success has not translated into permanent weight loss success and career success and success in other areas of your life. So we're going to be focusing a lot on career success, but also relationship, parenting, financial success, why that success hasn't created success with your permanent weight loss yet. And I'm going to teach you why and then how to apply how you actually have created success in other areas of your life and what you've been missing and how to use that to fuel you in your permanent weight loss journey in becoming naturally thin for the rest of your life. And when you join now, you get the call replays so you can catch up on any calls that we have had so far. And you can see what each call talks about. So you can look through and decide which calls you want to look, which calls you want to look at for you and your journey. So when you join now, you are able to get those call replays. So usually when you join, you just get access to the current and future calls. But when you join in the month of March, you get access to the current calls and future calls and also any previous calls so that you can catch up and you can make that progress for yourself if there's anything in those calls that that resonates with you. And then the investment to join is $1,000. So it's one payment, $1,000, and you get lifetime access to all of this. So women will tell me, oh, you know, I really worked through this. And then something, you know, my job changed, something else came up in my life. And I just wanted to remind myself on how to maybe be with some of those emotions on maybe now I have a different routine because we're at home with COVID or, you know, now I something, I had this really, um, you know, difficult relationship end or something in my relationships has changed and now I'm going through something. So then you get to come back to the videos if there's anything you want to still work through, because if those things impact your relationship with food, then you get to come back and work through those real time so that you're not losing weight, putting it back on, losing weight and putting it back on. 
you just lose weight and you get to keep it off. And the investment to join the thousand dollars is risk free. So I'm putting an end to the endless programs we all try, trying to lose weight and them not working. This genuinely is the last program you will ever need. And if you don't love it, and if you don't lose the weight, I will give you your money back. Yes, 100%. Money back guarantee. If you don't lose the weight, if you don't love it, I will give you your money back. So what you can do, and I'm going to share with you some clients' stories that they shared with me recently, and so I'm going to read some of the, those to you in a moment, but when you join, you can click the button below this video to join right now. So when you click the button, it'll actually open a new window for you, and so if you want to keep listening and join simultaneously, you can do that. It'll open up into a new uh, window when you click that button. And so you click the button, you enter your payment information, and you can get started right now. You can get started today. You can actually start reducing your over desire for food and start losing weight right now. So I'm going to share with you, I'm just going to read them to you because I want to read it to you in their words, not me paraphrasing. And then I'm going to go through some frequently asked questions that I get regarding the program. So I have a client, Verl, who's a doctor and has lost 18 pounds in six weeks and says, I'm not burnt out, just saying. Working with Laura has been life altering, challenging and fun. I have been surprised at how different it is from everything else I've done. I learned that one of my biggest challenges has been this unneeded pressure I put on myself, losing the weight. I finally have peace, peace with myself and the understanding that I can apply this work to every aspect of my life. Stop thinking about the decision to work with her and just do it. This is going to be so much easier than you think. And it is. And yes, there will be challenges. And yes, there will be discomfort. But it's not the same as the willpower and the grit and the grind and the energy drain you're used to. I promise. So now I want to share with you another client, Erin. So Erin has four children and she's lost 12 pounds in six weeks. She said, it's refreshing to finally work with someone who's been where I was at and can show me the way out. The possibilities have opened up to me. After learning to listen to my body better, I was surprised to learn that I was not hungry nearly as often as I thought I would be. I learned that when my body is allowed to communicate its hunger and satisfaction levels, it does a really good job. One's body never wants to overeat and it never wants to feel uncomfortable. Once I lost my fear of hunger, I found it was easy to actually wait until my body was hungry. One of the most impactful things that Laura has worked with me on is teaching me to love myself before and during while I read that wrong before and during the weight loss process. She has taught me that I can feel amazing before all of the weight comes off which is so true. You cannot beat yourself up enough to get to your goal weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. You have to actually learn to have compassion and understanding for yourself and your body in a way that serves you in losing weight. <laughs> that was my little interjection side note. So let me keep sharing with you what she said. So she said, she's taught me that I can feel amazing before all of the weight comes off. Past diet experiences showed me that I did not feel good about myself when I lost weight. But I still bought into the diet industry lie that weight loss was the key to feeling worthy and loving myself. I learned from Laura that the more I love myself and feel amazing now, the more motivated I am to actually listen to my body and eat healthier. She's worth every penny. It's like meeting with a therapist who not only has been where you were and are at, but she knows the way out. I've never worked with anyone before who could actually help me find solutions rather than just keep discussing my struggles. Laura has solutions. So far, I've lost 12 pounds in six weeks, and I look forward to losing each pound at a time until I reach the weight that my body desires to be at. That is available to you too. I want to give you this opportunity to go through this process to really lose the weight for the last time. And with this five step process, it is all you need to lose the weight and to be done. And then you can get any support and work through anything you need on these live weekly calls 
And if there's a topic of the month, you want to do a deep dive and really understand why your career success hasn't translated into permanent weight loss and what to do about it, we're going to do that in the month of March. So you want to make sure to join now so you get all of that as well as all of the call replays. So again, that's $1,000 to join us. It's one payment. You get lifetime access and it's completely risk-free. You either love it or I give you your money back. So now I'm going to walk through a couple frequently asked questions, and then I'm going to read you another testimonial or two from clients that have gone through this exact process. So one of the questions I often get is how long? How long does it take to go through the program? How long does it take to lose the weight? And so to go through the program, about 30 days, but like I said earlier, some people binge watch and they do it in a, in a couple days or in a week, right? And so you get to go through it in a way that serves you in your weight loss journey. And how long does it take to lose the weight? There are two common traits that I see that my clients that lose the weight the fastest and keep it off, they have two traits that they exhibit. First, they go all in. They're just like, I'm in. Let's do this. Let's go, right? So that's why I want you to join now and start doing this. You can genuinely do this starting today. When you click the button below and you enter your payment information, you'll get your login details and you can get going. You can join the calls this week. You can start doing all of this work right now. And so the first trait is they go all in. They're like, I'm doing this. Let's go. And the second trait they exhibit is there is a willingness to look at what is happening in their brain. They're, they have a, a strong willingness to want to change at the source, to truly end the battle. So like you heard, Verl's lost 18 pounds in six weeks. Aaron's lost 12 pounds in six weeks. And Aaron only has about 15 to 20 more pounds to go right? So it's not that like initial, you know, strict diet, you lose a bunch of water weight because you kind of just like stop eating and you're just eating like celery and carrots or whatever crazy stuff we do, right? No, they're losing weight in the same way they're going to keep it off. So that 18 pounds, that 12 pounds, they don't worry about that weight coming back on. So the second question I often get is what if I have a thyroid diagnosis? So I've worked with many women that have had both hypo and hyperthyroidism. So first and foremost, I am not an MD, I'm not a physician. So you wanna make sure you're under the care of a physician. So obviously we're not gonna be diagnosing that here, but what I can help you with and what will totally change is how you think about the food that serves you. So a lot of times, right, when we get a diagnosis, whether it's a thyroid or something else, we know that, okay, when I eat this food, it doesn't help me feel the energy I want. It doesn't support this diagnosis. And so what we do inside the program is I'm gonna teach you how to eat the food that serves you. Whether or not you have any diagnosis or a thyroid diagnosis, you'll be able to eat more and more of the food that feels good for you and feels good for your body with that diagnosis. So that you kind of maximize the energy that you do feel and you're not self-sabotaging yourself by overeating and eating food that doesn't serve you. So I'm going to teach you how to eat that food like we talked about in the five steps, how to make those decisions around when, what, and how much to eat and how to follow through and then what to do when you don't want to follow through so that you're eating in a way that really supports whether or not you have hypo or hyper thyroidism. So another question I get is what if I'm pregnant and or breastfeeding? Well, this is the same exact process I used during both of my pregnancies and while I was breastfeeding. So I have two little kids. I have a three and a half year old and I have a one and a half year old. And actually when I'm recording this, I am about 10 weeks pregnant right now. So everything I teach you is the exact process I used while I was pregnant. I've also worked with other women that have been pregnant, both pregnant and or breastfeeding because here's the thing. When you're pregnant and are breastfeeding, the connection between your brain and your body, it's almost stronger. <laughs> so it's almost more important that you truly listen to your hunger. You truly listen to your satisfied cues. You truly are eating in a way that supports you, that serves you. And you're not eating in a way that you're fueling your body where you feel energy drained, right? When I'm breastfeeding and I'm a newborn, the last thing I want to do is be putting food into my body where I'm feeling an energy drain from the food. <laughs> I'm already 
creating milk for my child and getting up in the middle of the night. I don't need to add any energy drain on top of that. So I think when you're pregnant and breastfeeding, it's almost the most important time. I mean, it's always important, but it can be really important to truly bring back that brain body connection and lose that over desire for food. And the last frequently asked question, more of just a comment, I think, is, but I've tried so many other things. And here's what I want to offer to you. I know, I get it. I've tried all the things too. I was like, I just, wait, I must be missing something. It must just not be for me. There must be something wrong with me. But here's what I want to offer to you. Kind of like I said with the first um, question and the two traits of the people that have the most success is first, you're not alone. I have helped so many women that have tried so many things just like you. What creates the success is your willingness to go all in and your willingness to understand your mind and change at the source in the way that I, and I teach you how to do that. Those two things, it doesn't matter whether you've tried one diet or 100 diets. I promise you, you can change what's happening in your brain today with those two traits, the willingness to go all in and the willingness to look at your mind and change at the source. So I am going to read you another testimonial from one of my clients, but as you're listening to that, make sure you click that button below and get started doing this today. Don't let another day go by where you're increasing that over desire for food or you're not reducing that over desire for food. You can start making these changes today. So when you click the button to join below, you enter your payment information and you will get immediate access. You can get started right now. So I'm going to go through, I'll go through one more time what you get inside the program and then I'm going to read you something from one of my clients, Lemma. So inside the Naturally Thin for Life program, again, you get that five-step process on demand. So you can watch it at your leisure, you can binge watch it. My clients that have had the most effective, fastest results, there will be videos that they will sometimes watch two or three times because it's maybe an area that they really struggle with. So if you have a fear around the scale because you make the scale mean something about you, you tie it to whether or not you're gonna have a good day or a bad day or kind of how you think about yourself as a human. I have clients that will be like, I watched that a couple times and after a couple times like, like it really clicked because it was something I was struggling with. So that's why it's on demand because you then get to really focus on your, the areas that you struggle with the most and work through all of them in that five step process at your own pace, which can be a video a day or it can be thin videos a day. And then you automatically get access to any new content. So if I want to share a new concept with you, you automatically get access to that because you get lifetime access to this program. You also get to come to weekly support. You get to come and you get to ask me any questions, get any coaching that you need on your mind specifically, and you get to be surrounded by other women with the same goal as you. You get to see how they're struggling and work through, see how they work through their struggles. And then you get to apply that to you too. And you get to be aware of, oh, I didn't even realize that I was struggling with this until I saw it in someone else. And then it's like, whoa, now I know that that's something I need to work on. You actually make more progress more quickly because you become aware of all of that. Your awareness just kind of compounds when you're around other women with the same goal. And then we do a monthly deep dive every month to help you always be making progress and moving forward. So in the month of March, make sure you don't miss it. We are spending time understanding why your career success and your, or your relationship, your financial, your parenting success, why that hasn't created permanent weight loss and then what to do about it, how to take the success you have created and actually use that to fuel your success in your weight loss journey and not be beating yourself up about why it hasn't translated yet. So when you join in the month of March, you get all of that, that's March, 2021. And when you join now, when you join today, usually you just get access to the current and upcoming calls, but when you join in the month of March, you also get access to all the call replays. So you can see everything that we've talked about so far. And if there's anything that you wanna, you wanna refresh on and you wanna catch up on, those are available to you as well. So again, it's $1,000, it's one payment, $1,000, 
click that join now button below into your payment information and you will have immediate access and you get lifetime access to the program. So you lose the weight and then maybe you're going on a vacation. You're like, oh, I haven't gone on a vacation lately because because of COVID, right? Then you get to go back and you can be like, oh, I'm going to watch the special occasion, the vacation video, and I'm going to use that and make sure I apply that. So when I go on a vacation, that's why I want you to have lifetime access, right? Not because it takes you a lifetime to lose the weight, but just because life happens and things will be different, but you always have all of the tools you need inside of the program to lose the weight and to keep it off effortlessly. So rather than going on that vacation and putting on 10 pounds and feeling a lot of regret and like, I wish I wouldn't have done that, you can use this program to not even put on any weight or maybe decide you want to put on a pound or two, but you know exactly what you're going to do when you get home to get back to your ideal weight. So that's why you have the lifetime access. And then I offer you a money back guarantee. No more programs where you keep doing programs and you're not getting the permanent result you want. You either love it or I give you your money back. So you take the program, you lose the weight, or it will give you your money back. It is completely risk free. So click that button below this video. You can enter your payment information. You can join now and you can get started, especially in this month of March and watch any of those call replays. You can come to the live calls this week. You can start watching the videos right now. You can start reducing that over desire today in the first video that you watch. So I want to share with you one more story that a client shared with me. Her name is Lemma and she's an entrepreneur. And she said, feeling my emotions and making peace with each emotion is way easier than I thought. The most impactful result I've had is that I actually want to eat less. Connecting to my hunger, feeling my physical sensations, not fearing hunger, not fearing no access to food immediately, not experiencing hangry has been life changing. Don't hesitate to work with Laura, she will help you. Losing weight is emotional and can be a bumpy road and it's nice to know you have all the guideposts you need. I didn't realize how my thoughts were affecting my feelings and therefore my actions and behavior and all of the habits I had around food. Literally, I was stuffing down my emotions with food rather than dealing with them. Laura pointed out to me that the food doesn't actually bring me comfort. It only creates more discomfort and she taught me how to give that comfort to myself so that I don't even need to overeat. I don't see myself as a fat person anymore. I see a thinner person in the mirror and I don't have the anxiety or the urgency to lose the rest of the weight like I would have in the past because I know it doesn't serve me. So everything I shared with you, Amy and the cookies, not even wanting them, Verl's lost 18 pounds in six weeks and it hasn't, he doesn't feel burnt out. And Erin has a mom of four and she's lost 12 pounds in six weeks. And Lemma doesn't struggle with being hangry and having that anxiety and the pressure. Like all of that is available to you right now, starting today. So I want you to join us to see you inside of the program so that you too get to experience the freedom that is on the other side of the struggle, that's on the other side of the battle, that's on the other side of the obsession. And I will help you through that process. I will help you through the five steps I teach you with any new content, with the weekly support, the monthly deep dive, and then you can get access to any of the call replays. And it's a thousand dollars and I'll give you your money back if you are not completely satisfied. So click that button below, enter your payment information, and you can get started right now today, reducing your over desire for food and losing the weight for the last time. I am so excited to share this journey with you. I cannot wait to see you inside the program and I will see you on the calls this week. I will talk to you later. Have an amazing day, my friends.